know what a psycho gang like the Radicals would want with genetic research, but something tells me it isn't about their health care plan. I need to pay this Dr. Green a visit. Wow, there's never any downtime when your after-school job is being a superhero. I'd better get over there quick. Nothing like decking deadbeats and fighting free radicals to really get the old heart pumping. Nice to meet you, Dr. Green. I'm Spider-Man. I never would have guessed from the costume. How do you know my name? Oh, uh, I found your name and picture on some research of yours that I recovered from these Jokers earlier. What do you think they want with it? I'm not sure, but maybe... He's behind oh there. no, more of them are coming. Hey, you! These guys just don't know when to quit. Stay behind me. I'll protect you. Hey, punk! Meet my fist! I'll get him! I understand you guys want to see the doctor, but you have to make an appointment first. Let's get back to where we left off before being so rudely interrupted. Why do you think the Free Radicals want your research? That's the confusing part. It's gene therapy to induce limb regrowth in amputees, though Dr. Connors recently told me that he's heard rumors of some of our colleagues investigating its weapons applications. Dr. Connors? Dr. Kurt Connors? I've heard of his work. He's a super genius, right? He is. I've been working with him since his last partner, Richard Parker, disappeared. His research could change the world for good. But if somebody turned it into a weapon, it would shatter him. Can you tell me where I can find Dr. Connors? these free radicals came for you, they may be targeting him as well. He loves the theater. Look for him around the theaters on Broadway. If he isn't at work, chances are he's there catching a show.
It's Gwen. I know she thinks Peter Parker's kind of a goofy guy, but I bet she'll love Spider-Man. Good afternoon, miss. This is just a courtesy visit from your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, checking to make sure that everything is okay in your neighborhood. Hmm. If you're such a hero of the neighborhood, why do you need to hide your face behind a mask? My barber gave me a really bad haircut, and I'm cripplingly self-conscious about it. Oh, great. You think you're a funny guy. Well, my dad is a police officer, and he says you're a vigilante who interferes with the way the police do their job. Hey now, I think the police do a great job, but there are some things that I can do that they can't. Let me show you what I've got to offer, and then maybe you'll change your tune. Ugh! <sighs> I wonder if Gwen will go to a movie with me. Watch where you're going, jerk!
once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, a photography class taught by a Pulitzer Prize winner. I submitted my portfolio today. Oh, I hope I get in. Good luck. I hear they're only letting in 10 people across the whole state. Still, I think my photography could get in. Maybe I'll submit a few photos, if I feel like it. There is still 24 hours left before the deadline. Wow, a photo class taught by a Pulitzer Prize winner. I don't think any of Peter Parker's portraits of Aunt May are good enough to get me in. But maybe some sweet shots of Spider-Man can score me a spot in that class. Dr. Connors, I'm here because an anarchist group called the Free Radicals is after your research. They tried to kidnap one of your colleagues, and they may come after you next. I'm afraid you're too late, Spider-Man. I tried to hide the research in my private lab after they tried to steal it from the bank. But they broke in and escaped with it. So that's what they were after at the bank. Dr. Green told me that your research may have weapons applications. Can the Free Radicals hurt people with it? No. Right now it's a medical treatment, but I suspected some of my colleagues of trying to weaponize it, so I took the vital parts of it out of the lab and was hiding it in the bank. But now it's gone, and I can't report it to the police, or Oscorp will fire me for removing classified information from the lab. Dr. Connors, I want to help you get your research back. What you're doing is important to millions of people. Is there any way to track it down? The police have issued an arrest warrant for you. How do I know you are just some criminal in a cheap costume? Hey, this costume is custom made from the finest material. I wear it to protect my identity and the people I love the most. You'll just have to trust me, Doc. I probably shouldn't trust you, but something about you seems familiar somehow. When I put my research in the bank, I hit a GPS tracker on it as a safety precaution. You can find it with this transmitter, but you can't let Oscorp know or I'm finished there. The beacon says I'm close, and that car doesn't look like it's just taken.
sick of you freak radicals. You're really cutting into my me time. Joke all you want, Spider-Punk. Once we're done putting the fear of radical evolution into New York, there'll be nothing you can do to stop the panic. Then everyone will see that humanity is just animals, and anarchy will reign. You're wrong. I'm gonna keep people safe from whatever you're trying to do. <laughs> we're gonna transform this city into our vision of progress. You can't keep anyone safe. No one is safe from the free radicals. Dr. Connors, great news! I managed to recover your research from the Free Radicals. Now Oscorp won't even know it was missing. Spider-Man, thank goodness you're here. You have to help me. Two of my colleagues were kidnapped. He They're being held somewhere across town by those Free Radicals. They want them to create a weapon from my research and are trying to force me to help them. I feel s I'll get your co-workers back, Dr. Connors. I promise. I've been saving a lot of you scientists lately. If only teachers could get students as interested in science as these criminals are, maybe school wouldn't be such a drag. Don't worry, the spectacular Spider-Man is on the case! Let's go tear stuff. 
Kappa. Spider-Man! Oh, I was so scared! Relax, you're safe now. I need to know whether or not you helped them build a weapon out of Dr. Connors' formula. I didn't want to, but I was so scared. They told us if we synthesized a gas, it would attack people at the genetic level, they'd let us go, and I... I just... Yikes, this complicates matters a bit. Can you remember where they were holding you? When we were captured. Some thugs called the Deadbeats held us over at the piers, and then the Free Radicals took us to a building in Midtown to help with the gas. Please stop them before it's too late. I don't know what the gas will do. It's entirely untested. <laughs> 